Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBatch.com, out here for a first look at something pretty amazing that got sent out by Utah Air Guns. I'll go ahead and preface all of this with my air gun experience. Shooting BB guns or pellet guns where you're like, man, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pump this up ten times. It's going to be twice as powerful as five pumps. Or, honestly... My favorite slash least favorite ones that take CO2 cartridges. Usually a ton of fun to shoot right up to the point. You can change out your CO2 cartridge and buy more of them. This is not one of those at all. And so, yeah, spoke with the guys over there. Incredibly knowledgeable and they have super high end collection of legitimate air guns not cheap also they're basically guns they just happen to use air like lots of air so this whole thing came about and yeah this thing is actually pretty amazing i will say this is obviously not a typical first look unboxing type thing because you don't know what you don't know but sometimes you do know what you don't know and this is something not familiar with. So I actually open it up, talk to those guys over there, kind of walk through it verbally. Also, they have a great YouTube channel. On that YouTube channel, they walk through like, hey, here's how you actually like charge your gun. Here's how you load your magazine. Things that are absolutely a departure from regular firearms and a lot of good information over there. And so I then even read the manual a tiny bit again stepping outside of normal things that I do and yeah we'll crack this thing open and do some shooting this thing is pretty crazy it is the Panthera 22 caliber air gun and inside here I kind of have a bit of everything these right here didn't even know was a thing basically think of them as really high quality pellets they come in uh, come in these crazy sheets I'll show you real quick basically like this peel it back exposes them take what you need out of there and then also inside here we have our magazine this i want to say holds 14 rounds then some other stuff this i want to say is some different seals and stuff to replace that also a sunshade for the scope on here we'll get to that in a second something else that's pretty cool is because these are not firearms they and their accessories are not regulated by nfa so you have a silencer for this gun why not shoot quiet guns even when they're not that loud throw that guy on there probably and then of course this gun itself and like I said optic on here it's pretty wild back here we have our air tank we have our different gauges and over here charging handle basically goes back to cock it safe fire all that and a legitimate optic that is 10th mil or is a mil optic with 10th mil increments. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, do some shooting with this thing. These guns are capable of incredible accuracy. And the other thing that is really cool is you actually have MLOC to spec, same with ARCA. So I can go ahead and take accessories I already have, by way of example, this Atlas bipod on this ARCA adapter. And now I can use this bipod on here. And thanks to our friends over at Brownells, be able to get velocities with this Garmin that they sent out. So my plan, I have target back there about 25 yards. Just want to make sure I'm on paper. I will get some velocities probably with about five rounds, make some rough adjustments, then move it to 50 where I plan on zeroing it, at which point I'm going to throw the can on here the silencer namely because one i'm curious 
oftentimes if you put a can on a firearm you'll have an increase in velocity not sure if that holds true with this but yeah either way gonna collect some data get this thing zeroed all right gonna get this thing loaded for the first time let's cock this back that should go in lock like that bam should be loaded on safe these garments are pretty cool they actually have an air gun setting let's see if we're on paper yes we are 911.9 995.3 It's crazy, you can actually hear some of the air going in to refill this. Uh, 986.8 Let's see. I'm honestly pretty much dead on starting to make a little clover leaf. I think my first round was a little off. It would make sense. It was definitely lower as far as the velocity, but I'm gonna shoot two more and then we'll move this thing back to 50. My first shot was actually right here. There's two stacked on top of each other there. That was a third or fourth shot, I don't remember, because that right there was my fifth shot. Again, only 25 yards. I'm sure this thing is more capable. Honestly, I didn't bring a rear bag. I should have, I'll figure something out. But got some velocities from that shooting. And that first one was my slowest at 911.9 feet per second. Max was 996.3, and the average, again, minimum maximum, was 977.1. So the average speed is way faster. That very first shot I took was the slowest. So I'm actually going to move this back to about 50 yards. I'm also going to put the silencer on it and get some more data and do my best to basically, yeah, get this thing zeroed dead again. I'm not gonna have to move very far probably, but get this thing zeroed at 50 yards. Since I don't have a rear bag, we're gonna use my jacket. And now 50 yards, Let's see what we can do. Oh, what's that, parallax, nice. Actually, the reticle in this is pretty cool, too. Ninety-nine point, or sorry, nine-nine-three point six. Nine-nine-two point nine. Nine nine two point zero. Nine nine zero point six. Dang. Minimum nine nine zero. Max nine nine three point six. Average 992.4. Looks like I have a little bit of adjustment to do. So let's do that. Um, go ahead and come right 0.4. Yeah, we'll go three actually. And up 0.3 mils also. Let's see what that does. You're kind of bunched up on this thing, but. 
have the technology. Adjustable length of pull. Go ahead and try that there. There we go. Way better. All right, shoot these other five, well, four, because of a 14 round magazine. Actually, do have some more rounds in there, but I think that was another five shots. So one of those was a little lower. My average moved to 990.8 over those 10 shots, and I guess I can't pull that up because I have three more rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot through those, or two more maybe. One more maybe. Then I want to say to decock this, just ride it forward, put it on safe, and we'll go check and see what I got. This right here was that first group I shot at 50 yards. I ended up making my corrections. I want to say right 0.3, up 0.3 mils. That right there is my second group of all remaining rounds. I think eight rounds, so five and then eight. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with that zero right now. I did get gather, or I did gather data for all of those 13 shots, I guess it was. And with that, Minimum 986.4 feet per second, maximum 993.6 feet per second, average 990.4 feet per second, extreme spread 7.2, standard deviation 2.0 feet per second. It's pretty crazy. So right now I need to reload that magazine. I guess it's 18 round magazine and I'll still need to recharge my tank. So I'll show you that. As I understand it, most air guns of this quality are similar but different in little ways, i.e. where the tank is, where you refill it, where your gauges are, the gauges are on that side, and I'm now down to 150 bar after shooting those 18 rounds. So I need to get this back up to 250 bar, and so back here is the nozzle where I do that. And I take my tank and these fittings are basically similar to like pretty much any of your air tools, just smaller in size. So pull that sleeve back, not enough hands, peanut hold that. Down. Nope. We are on. So once that's on there, we have two different knobs. This one right here is a bleed off. This one right here actually fills it or opens it up. So I'm gonna crack this. I'm watching this fill up. Sorry, I only have one camera angle for you. So I'm now up to 250 bar, Am I? a little bit more. All right, I'm up to 250 bar, close that off. Then this turn is going to bleed the line. Close it again. So now I can take that off. Now I'm recharged. Whew, I did it. As far as reloading my magazine goes, Basically rotate this piece 180, that comes off. And then I'm gonna turn that and put one of the, well, initially put one round in there. So I'll get these guys out. I think this is the one I already opened. Yes, it is. They're all basically nested in there. 
I'm gonna, well, let's see how many I get out. That many is how many I got out. So initially take this and you just turn it until it stops. Keep going. There we go. And pointy end goes that way. And now it's basically held. So then I can take all these that I dropped out here and they all go in behind it. And I continue this process until I get however many rounds I want in there. For what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna shoot 10 more rounds. So five, five more. Um, all right, I'm good. This just goes back on top and lock it in place and we're good to shoot again. So far, this thing is pretty rad. Right now I have my target, it's back there at 100 yards. I post the actual like grid, like half inch grid target, try and shoot at that, get some 100 yard groups. And I obviously am going to need to dial or hold. How much? Honestly, I don't know. Went into my ballistic app, looked in one. I don't know what twist this is. And as far as projectiles, I want to say they're like 30 point something grains. Could not find a 22 caliber, like 30 grain projectile. So shooting 40 grains at faster than this, like 1,030 or something like that in another gun with I think one in 16 twist, my gray birch. I'm saying two mils at 100 yards. So I'm not going to do any dialing because I haven't floated this and want to still refine that zero a little bit maybe. Again, 50 yard zero. So I'm going to go ahead and just start holding two mils and see where we're at and adjust from there. This Nexus Optic, fortunately, is for focal plane. It's also 4 to 25. I'm going to go ahead and use all my magnification. Get parallax adjusted. Nice and clean. And we'll get this thing loaded. All right, let's do this. Looks like still a little bit low and off to the right, but we're gonna shoot it. Definitely have a little bit of stringing. Looks like breathing, kind of vertical stringing. Um, my average is 989.8, 18 rounds through this. Um, right, I'm gonna shoot one more five shot group. doing good dang so good right here is my 22 shots and go to there session summary 22 shots standard deviation 2.2 feet per second average 989.4 Pretty impressive. So sometimes I have a little talk with myself and I'm like, hey Ivan, plan, let's just try and not suck as much. This right here was my first group. That strung out five rounds. Again, point of aim was right there, holding in the reticle two mils, which still low and I was off to the right. Again, after that little pep talk, I'm like, eh, maybe I could just slow down a little bit. Maybe I can also build a better position, control my breathing a little better, maybe a better trigger press. 
boom, those four rounds. Apparently, I loaded nine and not ten. Thought I counted. Don't know what happened. But that is my four-shot group at a hundred with that thing. Again, this was disappointing to me because I'm like, I know this gun is better. I'll show you why in a second. And after my little pep talk, that thing will shoot. This thing is really incredible. I, again, I knew it could shoot. How did I know that? I actually came with a test target. This one right here, really impressive. Granted, closer than 100 yards, but that's five rounds right there. Very impressive. So, knew this thing was capable. Is it capable in my hands? Sometimes is the answer. But this thing is amazing. Also on these, this one right here, for example, or this gun, which is the, get it right, FX Panthera, actually has a built-in 30 MOA base, which is great if you want to shoot far, which brings us to, what am I going to do with this thing? One, have fun, which I'm already doing, and two, probably at some point, do some prairie dog or ground squirrel hunting with it stretch this thing out even more and the other thing which i think will be really cool is to shoot is it nrl nlr nrl 22 basically think of a prs match with 22s so you're shooting from usually about 50 out to 400 have to dial a lot at 400 of the 22 to include obviously with this one right here my ballistic app I'm going to have to figure that out, or more than likely, honestly, I'll call the guys over at Utah Air Guns, really helpful, and they shoot these all the time to include in competitions, and just be like, hey, this is what I'm shooting, I eat gun, these are the bullets I'm using, bullet weight, what kind of dope are you using for something similar? So even if they are not shooting the exact same setup, I'll be able to talk to them and at least get some dope for something similar, and then onus is on me to go basically shoot it out prove it out and get my own dope for this gun but really stoked on this thing special thanks to those guys over at utah air guns looking forward to putting in time with this and when i do i'll bring you a full review but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>